So, this is the place. It's beautiful. I'm always on the lookout. Usual guild rate. Let's take a look at him. Give my regards to Car- Aya, if you see her. I'm sorry to drag you into Markarth's problems, but after that attack in the market, I'm running out of time. You're an outsider. You're dangerous looking. You'll do. You want answers? Well, so do I. So does everyone in the city. A man goes crazy in the market. Everyone knows he's a forsworn agent. Guards do nothing. Nothing but clean up the mess. This has been going on for years. And all I've been able to find is murder and blood. I need help. Please, you find out why that woman was attacked, who's behind Wayland and the Force War, and I'll pay you for any information you bring me. They're remnants of the old rulers of Markarth, natives of the Reach, followers of the old ways. The Nords drove them out of the city, Ulfric Stormcloak and his men. That was about 20 years ago. But somehow they're still here, and they're killing people. Yes. It all started when I was a boy. My father owned one of the mines. Rare for anyone who isn't a Nord. He was killed. Guards said it was just a madman, but everyone knew the murderer was a member of the Forsworn. I've been trying to find out why ever since. Gotten nowhere so far. And then I got married. I have a child of my own on the way. I swore I was going to just give up for my child's sake, but it's like my father's ghost is haunting me, asking me why. She's not from Markarth. The air about her screamed outsider. Visitors to the city usually stay at the Silverblood Inn. He was one of the smelter workers. I used to have a job down there myself, casting silver ingots. I never knew much about Whalen, except he lives in the Warrens, like all the other workers. Be careful who you talk to. Looks like you weren't followed. Good. Keep your eyes and ears open. Once you've found out anything, come straight to me. Let me know as soon as you've found anything. The city's got eyes. Be careful when you're out there. Be careful who you talk to. Looks like you weren't followed. Good. Keep your eyes and ears open. You're not getting...
Come on in. The Silverblood Inn has plenty of strong drink and clean rooms. I'm gonna be a silversmith one day, like my mother. This is the Silverblood Inn. Ah, yes. Rented the nicest room we had for a whole month. I think she's sitting by the fire. Poor girl. Remember, ale is cheaper than blood in Markarth. I'm sorry. I'm still a bit dizzy from everything. Just visiting. I had some business here. That's all. Was it that obvious? Damn. I must be losing my touch. I'm one of General Tullius' agents. I was sent to investigate the Treasury House and the Silverblood family. They own Sidna Mine, one of the toughest jails in Skyrim. I was hoping I could buy or steal the deed, but I don't think that's how things work here. Mark my words. Thonar Silverblood was behind that attack in the market. Somehow. Don't mind the yelling. My parents are always going at each other. Snooping around, asking questions. Back off. You don't want to know what happens to troublemakers here. Funny. This is your last warning, outsider. We keep the peace here. Stay out of our business. I'm gonna be a silversmith one day, like my mother and father. Now here's a man I'm glad to see. Once you've found out anything, come straight to me. So the clues point to the Treasury House, then. That makes sense. Thonar is involved in every facet of the city. Here's the gold I promised. Keep following the trail, and there will be more in it for you. Be careful who you talk to. See you again, friend. The Forsworn? That's right, I'll say it. We all knew. Even that fat-headed slave-driving Mullish knew. Just ask him about it. <sighs> Another honest man lost in all this madness. And for what? See you. They don't like us talking to people when we work. You really should talk to Mullish if you have a problem with one of the workers. Alright then. I oversee Markarth Smelter. Worker gets out of line, I get him back in line. Whatever you want to know, I don't care. I run a smelter, that's it. Fine. I did notice something odd the last time we handed out the pay. Little extra slip of paper for Waylon. Took it right to his room after he got it. You want Garvey. He handles the keys for the wards. Not the only thing that disease riddled native is good for. All right then.
The Warrens isn't a place for your type. What do you want? Oh yes. I know everyone who sleeps in the Warrens. Kind of the one who passes the keys around. I guess someone else will be taking his room now. Sorry, but you don't exactly belong here. Trust is hard to come by here. But all right. Uh-huh. Great gift of blood you've given me. Blood that boils in my veins, gives me strength. You can use my coffin whenever you like. It's so good to see you again. Blood of the sick, blood of the weak, blood of the unsuspecting noble lord. Savor each flavor, unsuspecting, delicious prey. I keep an eye on their comings and goings. No one suspects poor Kareen, poor, poor Kareen. <laughs> ah! The darkness hums and we sing its praises. Sweet melodies, sweet like the water that flows through their veins. The darkness hums and we sing its praises. Sweet melodies, sweet like the water. isn't a place for your type. What do you want? You've been digging around where you don't belong. It's time you learned a lesson. Someone who doesn't like you asking questions. Come on, let's see what you're made of. the nose. The old man hands out the orders. He told me to make sure you didn't get in the way. That's all I know, I swear. Nepos is in charge. That's all I know. Looks like you weren't followed. Good. Nepos the Nose? He's been in Markarth forever. And he's well respected among the natives of the Reach. Good work. Here's your gold. I have a feeling Nepos gets his own orders, though. If you find out, I'll have more for you. Let me know as soon as you found anything. Treasury House is really just for patrons of the Silverblood family. You don't belong here. I'm afraid he's asked not to be disturbed. He has important business. Oh, I'm sorry to keep you. Head right in. I have records I need to tend to. You just let old Nana know it.
much, dear. What are you doing here? I told them no visitors. The Imperial agent? That's right, I knew. How many dogs is the Empire going to send after me? This is my business. My city. You Empire lovers should learn to stay out of it. Now get out! What are you doing here? I told them no visitors. They're crazy, think they rule the Reach. Well, guess who really runs things around here? Me. I own the mines. I make the coin pass to the right hands. That answer your damn questions. Now get out. What are you doing here? I told them no visitors. What did you expect? That no one was going to notice you butting into business that wasn't yours? The guards know who holds the purse strings in this city, and I don't like snoops. Mark Karth is my city. You have no right looking into my business. Now get out. Madanak. Damn his forsworn backside. Fine. You want to know what the forsworn really are? They're my puppets. I have their king rotting in Sidna mine. He was supposed to keep them under control. Madanak. The king in rags. While we were all fighting the elves in the Great War, Madanak was busy ruling over the Reach, until Ulfric came and put them down. My prison, the source of half the silver in Skyrim, the most secure prison in Demriel. No one escapes. I thought keeping Madanak down there would keep him under control. When their uprising was crushed, I had Madanak brought to me. He was a wild animal, but a useful one. I offered him a stay from execution if he used his influence to deal with any annoyances that came up. Competitors, agents, idiots. So I've let him run his little forsworn rebellion from inside Sidna mine. Now he's out of control. You already got what you wanted, you damn hound. This is your fault. You and Madanak are animals, and I'll see you both rot to death in Sidna mine for this. Now get out of my house! I'm just a servant. Don't pay me any mind. I have records I need to tend to.
Get out of my house. Now. Out of my way, kinsman. Bother someone else. You again. What are you doing here? We haven't been expecting you and the old man needs his rest. Come back some other time. It's okay, my dear. Send him in. <laughs> yes, Nepos. You heard him. Go on in. I'm sorry about my housekeeper. She's a little protective of me. Now what is it you want? Ah yes, you've proven to be a real bloodhound. Well, you've sniffed me out. I've been playing this game for almost 20 years. Sending the young to their deaths. All in the name of the Force Wolves. And I'm tired. So tired. Because my king told me to. Madanok. When the uprising fell at the hands of the Nords, they threw him in the mines. I don't know how, but he lives. I get his messages, and I hand out his orders without question. He is the king in rags. A man who once held all the reach within his grip. He stokes the passions of the downtrodden in this city directs them to kill the enemies of the Forsworn in our name. All from inside Sidna Mine, a Nord prison. The irony is quite thick. Mark Earth and the Reach are our lands. That is why we are the Forsworn. We cannot claim the home that is rightly ours. But then, during their war with the Elves, we had our moment. We drove the Nords out of the Reach in a great uprising. Then Ulfric and his men came. Those of us who didn't run were executed, except for myself, my king, and a handful of others. My dear boy, what makes you think you're getting out of here alive? You were seen coming in. The girl at the door is a Forsworn agent masquerading as a maid. You aren't the first one to have gotten this far. You won't be the last. Oh, no, you don't. I've had enough.
we warned you, but you just had to go and cause trouble. Now you have to pin all these recent murders on you. Silence witnesses. Work, work, work. Same thing we do with all the other natives who want to change things around here. We had a nice little deal going between Thonar and Madana, until you and Eltris started snooping around. Well, you wanted to find the man responsible for those killings. You'll have plenty of time with the King in Rags when you're in Sindh Mine. You'll never see the sun again, you hear me? No one escapes Sindh Mine. No one. All right, prisoner. Eyes front. You're in Sidna Mine now, and we expect you to earn your keep. There's no resting your hide in a cell in this prison. Here you work. You'll mine ore until you start throwing up silver bars. You got it? You won't. The Jarl has ordered a life sentence for you. Get comfortable in the dark, because you'll never see the sun again. All right. Open her up. Now you, get down there. What are you in for, new blood? Violent one, huh? Best keep that to yourself, new blood. Others find out, they'll consider that a challenge. My advice? Serve your time at the pickaxe and get out. You don't want to end up getting a shiv in the guts over a bottle of skooma. Small blade. Easy to hide. I mean, sure, you could just swing a pickaxe into someone's face, but people tend to see that coming. Got a problem with a prisoner? Get a shiv. Here Grisvar has a spare, if you could get him to part with it. Bottles of moon sugar. Khajiit use it as a pick-me-up. Good way to pass the time. Prisoners smuggle the stuff in. Only currency we have down here. They come in here once a week to clean out the bodies, grab any ore we've mined, and beat down the troublemakers. That's the only time when we get food, too. And if there's not enough ore mined up, we don't get any. A Nord nobleman I served was stabbed in the night. Wasn't me, but I knew I'd be blamed. So I ran, joined the Forsworn, started killing, Got caught. Now I'm here. Because life was better under the old ways. No Nords and their laws. One day the Forsworn will paint the walls of Markarth in your kinsmen's blood. Best you not be there on that day, Nord. If you're asking, that means you're the new lifer. Tough luck, friend. Those guards sold you out, but good. No one talks to Madinak, I'm afraid. Not without getting past Borkel the Beast. And you don't want to talk to Borkel the Beast. Madinark's guard. Big, even for an orc. Heard he ripped a man's arm off and beat him to death with it. He's old-fashioned like that. All right, then.
Other prisoners get suspicious when we talk to each other, so keep it down. I'm a Forsworn. One of our raids went bad and I got captured. Would have been fine dying for the Reach with my kinsmen, but the Silverbloods want their ore mine, so they threw me in here. Year seven, I think. Surprised I haven't cut my own throat out by now, but something keeps me going. See you. Whenever I get out of here, I'm gonna kill a lord. Whenever I get out of here, I'm gonna kill a Nord. Jarl decided I was too much of a problem. Threw me in here with the Force War. The first time, thieving. The second time, Thieving. The third time, thieving. It kind of keeps going like that. First it was six months, then a year, then two years. Now I'm in for life. Ah, you want protection? I can get you what you need. Maybe you could do something for me first. Duok has a bottle of skooma, finest distilled moon sugar. I'm shaking just thinking about it. Thank you, friend. Don't worry. I'll have that ship ready for you. Until next time. I left behind my daughter, Uale, when I was taken. Mm hmm. How old is my daughter now, I wonder? In prison, you lose track of time. All right, then. I'm just another Forsworn, sent to rot here in this mine. Mm hmm Now, if you'll excuse me. Other prisoners get suspicious when we talk to each other, so keep it down. You give me one more look, and I cut you open. That skooma's mine. Getting the shakes, huh? All right, take it. Old gods keep you. Good day. Whenever I get out of here, I'm gonna kill a Nord. Until next time. See you. Here's your shiv. Promise you won't ever use it on me, okay? Until next time. I got locked up one too many times. Now I'm in for life. Until next time. I swear, if I ever get out of here, I'm giving up thieving. Really. All right then. Until next time. Other prisoners get suspicious when we talk to each other, so keep it down. What do you think you're doing? Other prisoners get suspicious when we talk to each other, so keep it down.
You're not getting anything. I was sent here because someone said I was a Forsworn. Guards say I murdered someone. I was just sleeping off some meat in my aunt's house. That didn't stop them from arresting me. I don't even know who they said I killed. A couple of years. I wasn't a Forsworn when I came, but I joined up when I got in. Easier that way. All right, then. I'm innocent. The Nords framed me. I was nowhere near that murder weapon. Good day. I wonder how Grandma Bethella is doing. She's probably worried sick about me. Mm-hmm. What do you want, new blood? All right, then. All right, then. Keep your hands to yourself. Don't reach for a shiv around me or we'll both regret it. I don't want to talk about it. Enough. All right, then. What do you want of digging to do? Mm hmm. Till next time. Mm hmm. What do you want of digging to do? The new meat. So soft, tender. What was it like killing your first one, huh? A true killer like me. The gods put us here to fill their halls with souls. You'll fit in fine down here. Murder, banditry, assault, theft, and lollygagging. Guards brought me in about 12 years ago. Was running a good group of bandits up until then. But these Forsworn, they're nothing like the men I cobbled together. They're real killers. You want to talk to the king in rags? Fine. But first you gotta pay the toll. How about you get me a shiv? Not that I need one, but it's nice to have one in case I need to do some shaving. <laughs> Fine. Go on in. But don't try anything in there. Modernock knows more than you think. All right, then. Your kinsmen have turned you into an animal, Nord. A wild beast caged up and left to go mad. So, my fellow beast, what do you want? 
Answers about the Forsworn? Revenge for trying to have you killed? Do I? What about you? What right did you have to meddle in my affairs? Kill my people? Was it worth it? Your truth? You're one of us now, you see? A slave. The boot of your kinsman stepping on your throat. Maybe if you understood that, I could help you. There's a man named Bregg inside these mines. Besides me, he's been here the longest. Tell him I sent you. Ask him why he's here. I want you to know how widespread the injustice of Markarth is. I had Markarth. My men and I drove the Nords out. We had won. So we thought. Retribution was swift. I was captured, quickly tried, and sentenced to death. But my execution never came. Zonar's Silverblood stopped it. He wanted the Forsworn at his call, that I would point their rage at his enemies and spare his allies. And I have. Humiliating at first, but I knew he would let his guard down eventually, that he would come to trust I was under control. This was our land. We were here first. Then the Nords came and put chains on us, forbid us from worshipping our gods. Some of us refused to bow. We knew the old ways would lead us back to having a kingdom of our own. That is who we are. The Forsworn. Criminals in our own lands, and we will cut a bloody hole into the Reach until we are free. Remember, it was the Nords who locked you up. Don't reach for a shiv around me, or we'll both regret it. My story, huh? Everyone in Sidna Mine has a tale. Let's hear yours first. When was the first time you felt chains around your wrists? Uh, so you know what it's like to have your life in someone else's hands. Why should they get to decide? Isn't judgment for the gods? Do you have any family? Anyone waiting for you on the outside? I had a daughter once. She'd be 23 this year. Married to some hot-headed silver worker, or maybe on her own, learning the herb trade. The Nords didn't care who was and who wasn't involved in the Forsworn Uprising. I had spoken to Modenac once. That was enough. But my little Aethra didn't want to see her papa leave her. She pleaded to the Jarl to take her instead. And after they made me watch as her head rolled off the block, they threw me in here anyway to dig up their silver. I'm not Modenac. I was never a leader of the Forsworn. The only anger I can justify is my own. But every family in the Reach has a story like mine. There are no innocent onlookers in this struggle, just the guilty and the dead. My daughter is the one who needs your pity. I'm just a poor Forsworn whose only regret is not killing more Nords before I was locked up. You're back. Have you done what I asked? Yeah, imagine hearing a story like that over and over. Each time a different family, each time a different injustice. Your meddling above ground reminded me of how removed I've been from the struggle. My men and I should be in the hills, fighting. Yes, but I need a show of loyalty from you. 
I don't need a shiv in the back while we break out. Have you met Grisbar the Unlucky? He's rightly named, and he's also a thief and a snitch. He's outlived his minor usefulness. Take care of him, and then we can leave Sitna Mine for good. Our vengeance will come. Yaro decided I was too much of a problem. Threw me in here with the Forsworn. I got locked up one too many times. Now I'm in for life. What? No! No, don't kill me! Please! sent here because someone said I was a forsworn. Do you remember the sun? Because you'll forget. Soon. you finally become one of us. Come with me. I think it's time I announced my plans to you and your new brothers. What's going on, Madinok? You wouldn't have old Grisvar killed unless you weren't planning on needing him. My brothers, we have been here long enough. It's time to leave Sidna Mine and continue our fight against the Nords. Through this gate, just beside my quarters, is a tunnel. A tunnel that leads right through the old dwarven ruins of Markarth, into the city. Well, what do you say, my brothers? The Reach Lord! I say you've earned an early pardon. Let's go. It's a little gift from the dwarves. Who knew they would end up helping our cause? We have to move. We'll talk more once we see the sky.
ready while I have a word with our favorite outsider. I had Kai recover all the things the Nords stole from you. You better get ready before we break out into the city. And take this, it's blessed with the old magics. Something to remember me by. Now, I announce to all of Markarth that I have returned. Don't worry about your name, they'll know who to blame and fear after today. It'll take years, but I'll organize the Forsworn again. We'll reclaim our land, and then when power is ours, we'll have peace. A kingdom. Until then, let me offer you a warning. Beware the Forsworn. No place in the Reach is safe from us now. Eyes inside Sidna Mine tell me that Madanat is dead. You've done a great service to the Silver Blood family. I've had the Jarl officially pardon you and take care of a few other loose ends. And you've proven that was the best move I could have made. Don't give me that look, you're free to go. Here, how about a little token for your efforts? My family's ring and all the things the guards confiscated from you when you were jailed. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to figure out how we're going to fill our recently emptied mine. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. I have a letter here for you. Looks like that's it. Got to go.
divine smile on me. I'm a busy man. Half this city works for my family, and I have to keep them in mind. Longbor may be the head of the family, huh? What do you need, my Thane? Long life to you, Faye. You're someone who can get things. Hmm, blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything.
got something for just about everybody in here. Give a halt. Good to see you. Bows and arrows for the mighty huntsman. Thank you very much for your business. Welcome to War Maidens. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? business with you. What do you need, my friend? Some may call this junk. Me? I call them treasures. Remember, fresh food and vegetables every day. Long life to you. Thing. 